Yo, how is it going, my fellas? I just wanted to do a quick preview over the most recent balance preview, which we got one really quick, which was very surprising to me, at least. I didn't think we would uh, I didn't think we would get one for another few months, at least. So it's pretty exciting to see a new one with some pretty considerably good changes. I felt like I just needed another brawl video because it has been a little bit since I've done one, and I think this is a perfect opportunity to do so. So we'll just go over it real quick. I won't keep you guys stalled too long. Just a quick bounce preview. So first off, we have axe changes. I believe these are axe buffs. We have axe downlight decreased total recover time, which means I believe that if you miss it, then it's going to be easier to recover from, which is a nice change. Although I feel like axe downlight was already pretty good before this. So I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see. With axe down air, it says slightly increased allowed maximum speed and forward acceleration at the beginning of the attack and after the attack and hit which i also believe is a buff which i'm surprised about this too considering the buff or like the nerfs a while back for this specifically and now it's getting buffed back so i don't know maybe axe will be a good weapon again it already is good but maybe it'll like be considered top tier again but we'll just end up having to see there's a whole lot of changes on battle boots there is decreased stun on side light there is Increased recover time on miss and decreased maximum vertical threat coverage on downlight. Neutral layer has decreased stun, which I, that might remove something on uh, with neutral layer. Maybe like neutral layer recovery, something along those lines. We have to see. Sad air has increased total recover time, which is a considerable amount. Decreased force for the normal version and decreased damage of the normal version. So I believe that means that the it's the one that sends further away. Like the one where you don't travel along, that's going to be nerfed a lot more, which to be honest, it did feel kind of strong still. So I guess I'm happy to see that. Battle Boots Recovery also has decreased damage, which honestly, I would have liked to see a Battle Boots Recovery buff, if I'm honest. I feel like it's uh, very weak on force, which I, it's understandable because recovery is not supposed to be a great move on Battle Boots. So I suppose it's understandable. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. So going into bow i know this is uh, gonna be a lot of good stuff i know a lot of people are saying like once they nerf uh downlight and narrow and bow they people are saying that bow will be balanced which i can like half agree with downlight can be pretty annoying on occasions and so can air but looking at what they did nerf we have bow side light the uh increased total recovery time on miss which means like if you miss side light then it's gonna be it's going to take longer to recover from, but it isn't too much. It's only 5 from 6, which isn't too big. There is bow recovery, increased total recovery time I miss, which is also very nice. This is a bit bigger, but we'll just have to end up seeing how much that changes, which it probably won't end up changing a lot. We'll have to see what happens. With Cannon Side Air, increased total recovery time I miss from 2 to 4. Cannon Sayer felt very good. I will say that right now. It felt like a very good attack, and I'm kind of glad they nerfed it because... Being honest, for how much I like cannon, I do like cannon quite a lot. I'm really bad at the weapon, but I do like it. It felt like cannon feels like one of the most annoying metas to deal with. And I don't know why, it's just how I feel about it, but I would say this is a nice nerf to it. I'm glad to see it. Going on to gauntlets, we have gauntlets down air angle of knockback is now much more vertical, which is a buff. Because apparently this is going to help gauntlet dare kill off stage more or maybe a hope set up into something else on stage which is very nice i actually don't hate gauntlets that much anymore so much less bias coming in from that i actually believe the uh, weapon is balanced right now but maybe this will make it a bit better decreased force as well which is actually a nerf to it but that isn't uh that isn't too bad i think well i don't know gauntlet dare isn't really a move that you use for killing it's more of a combo move like you usually see used with like downlight dare that's the see like only scenario i see it in but it's still good for that combo sense i just don't think it's going to be a move that people use for killing going on to hammer buffs hammer neutral air increased stun from 27 to 28 not a huge change but hey we'll take hammer buffs where we can get them hammer is not considered to be top tier but i wouldn't say it's completely bottom tier either going on to guitars everyone's been saying guitars are extremely op i can agree but i can also not agree just because i don't know I'm, I'm biased with guitars but Looking at the changes, Qatar Neutral Light has increased total recovery time on Miss, 5 to 7. It's about the same as uh, some changes to other weapons, but this is uh, very nice. Qatar Down Air changed the total, total, the, okay. 
the Katara's down air changed the total recover time on hit for the ground version from one fixed variable 11 to 210. Which means... I'm sorry, I gotta look over this. I believe this is a nerf, but it, all, it looks like an adjustment. I think this might change how certain true combos go with dare, but I could be entirely wrong about that. I'm not a huge expert on it. With the Katara recovery, it just has decreased stun of the final hit from 20 to 19. Who knows what that will change with recovery. It's going to be an interesting case. Going as our legends, I think the legends have a much more significant change to what happened to them. Whether it's like a buff or nerf, they have much more and more impactful changes, I believe. And starting off with my least favorite one, but understandable, is Arcadia. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I feel like Sandstorm like straight up caused this. But both of her uh, down sigs... Uh, have more end lag to them, so you're not going to be able to move as quickly after using them, which is understandable. Like, I will... I look, look, I main Arcadia. She's one of my best legends, and I even admit that her down sigs are way too good. Maybe not great, so her down sig, that one is not as strong. Spear down sig, one of her best sigs, and it uh, gets absolutely insane. I think it still will be pretty good, but I doubt this is going to remove stuff like down light, or down sig, Sarah neutral light, or down sig recovery nair like stuff like that i don't think that's gonna remove any of that stuff but it's just gonna make it a bit less safe to throw out to, uh just to say the least with great sword down sig that one never really was that good to begin with there's not much to combo out of great sword down sig but i doubt that's gonna be like I mean, again like the same with spear i don't think that's gonna change anything with great sword now going into cross there are some very heavy cross nerfs which i'm very happy to see there is neutral gauntlets has so much less force oh my god i didn't look at that before <laughs> it's so much less force the same with cross the side gauntlets very nice cross the side blasters decreased force which isn't too much it's a few variable but still significant very significant and then crosses down blasters also has a load of force taken off of it this is very great i know cross is like a high strength legend but like there would be times where he would kill in straight up orange, like 80 damage, and it just would straight up not be fair. Cross was like a very unfair legend for a very long time, and I'm so glad we finally got these changes. Very happy to see them. With Onyx, this one is actually nerf. I thought it was a buff for a second, but they just decreased the force on her neutral cannon a significant amount, which her ins, uh, I don't know, cannon insect felt very good. I'm kind of glad they changed this one just because. It did have a lot of force. It has a very generous hitting area. So I'm happy to see this one. Nash's down spear. I'm very happy to see this one. Actually, there's a lot like, I don't know. <laughs> just, I'm saying I'm happy to see all of these, but there's just so many of the changes they made in this are so good. With Nash's down spear, arguably one of the worst sigs in the game, got a buff. It has increased damage, which is very nice. It makes it worth going for more. And then also increased force. It has a, a decent amount of increased force. 60 fixed uh 60 fixed very uh i can't speak 60 fixed 50 variable to 65 fixed 52 variable which is a very significant change i think it's very nice maybe this would be like a sig worth throwing out more maybe if it came out quicker i'm not entirely sure it already does hit pretty hard so not to see how it looks with the change but it's a very welcoming change going to core his down hammer has decreased minimum charge time and increased force of the aerial version and increased force of the grounded version which is very nice. I'm glad to see a buff in the SIG overall because it's very slow. I'm glad to see like the decreased minimum charge time. I would like to see maybe something where it just... The attack appears quicker. Because it is a very slow SIG. Or maybe something like Isaiah's cannon side SIG where like if you start it like... Uh, if you get a running start with it, maybe it'll like increase your speed with it. That'd be very nice to see with it. Core is not in a great spot right now considering Gauntlet's getting gutted and Hammer just not being extremely great overall. But hey, Core's still a very fun legend, so I will say that at least. I do enjoy playing him quite a lot. But I'm not that good at him, so... Well, just let's see how the change turns out. Going on the Vow, we have her down sword has actually gotten buffed. I know Vow is a pretty decent legend, so I'm actually surprised to see a buff in her, but... Sword down sig, admittedly, did need a buff. It has decreased total recover time from 24 to 21, and increased force from 70 fixed 6... 70 fixed 46 variable to 75 49 which is a pretty big change there are a lot of pretty big changes with some of these sigs which i'm glad to see i'm glad to see like changing these sigs in a like very noticeable way it's very very nice to see 
it like it actually is an impact instead of like doing just a single frame or two change and then like nothing changes about something it's so nice to see with Val's uh, sword down sig it's like it's a very underutilized sig so i'm glad to see that change in Val's. then going on to the last one we have tezka with tezka neutral gauntlets decreased force of the grounded version which admittedly yes this one was very strong but not as strong as uh, a certain other one that i'll get to but this one definitely did need a, a force tone down and it got 10 wow <laughs> going to te tezka's down gauntlets i can't believe this uh sig didn't get nerfed on release or like with the first bounce patch that came with tezka i can't believe this didn't get nerfed like i was so surprised but now we have the decreased force of the ground diversion another 10 wow very nice to see that we have tezka's side boots arguably one of his uh more worse sigs i believe but still a very good one still <laughs> the force went down 10 which is like insane and then with Tesca's down boots, decreased force for the ground version for 75 and 56 variable, 65 fixed, 56 variable. So basically, so many of his six got hit like 10 frames down. Or not 10 frames, but like 10 force. So like it's just going to kill like not way later, but it's going to kill a considerable amount later. And hopefully with the huge battle boots nerfs we're still getting to this day. And with these pretty big Tezka nerfs, we might still see Tezka's play rate going down over the days. I know it's considerably high right now. I might up, uh, open a tab to check that. Right, so as you can see, it's, well, February 22nd. His play rate is still pretty considerably high. For a new legend, I know, like, it's a new weapon, so everyone wants to play the new weapon. But for Tezka, then it's still pretty considerably high. Like, it went underneath Nyx for a while, and then went back up. So, I don't know. I think... That's a very nice change. Like, for how much I do love Tesco, he still is pretty good. Like, that, admittedly. I think after this, he might be balanced. We'll have to see what happens. But, with that being said, that is the entire balance patch. In just about 12, 13 minutes. I just wanted to go over it really quickly. And this is a, like, very W patch. There are some things that I wish I could have ended up seeing getting nerfed. Like, uh, just off the top of my head, uh, I wish I could have seen maybe a Blaster's nerf. I didn't see anything changed about... I can't even think. I don't know. There's I, A lot of the weapons right now are currently fine. I would just like to see a Blasters nerf, and that's about it. And then maybe just some other Legend Sigs. I don't have any off the top of my head currently. But if I actually scripted this, then maybe I would have some Legends to talk about with some really strong Sigs. Maybe like... I don't know. There's Artemis, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, we all know the infamous Landside Sig. But regardless, that is the... 7.5 7.05 balance patch preview in just that short amount of time i hope you appreciated this very quick analysis and until next time keep on brawling